Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back on FC24. We're juggling the end game content. The end of 24 versus the beginning of 25. We've already started to get prepared with some of those FC25 videos if you've been seeing them on the channel. But we're back on FC24 today because it's a promo Friday. And honestly, it might be the last promo Friday of the year where we get somewhat significant content, and that's what I want to talk about today. Of course, we're looking forward to a FC25 objective that will give us a pack in FC25, but we're also looking forward to maybe that endgame center back SBC that's kind of the last piece of the puzzle for a lot of people chasing a 99 rated squad. So we're going to take a look at that today and what else to expect on this game and also some FC25 leaks and maybe some news about that coming today on Friday as well. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's go over the content. I haven't talked about FC24 in a couple of days. I'm not going to belabor you with all of the intricate details because there hasn't been a ton of content, but there is a couple things that I do want to go over. And yesterday, Thursday, actually was a big day for XP, guys. We were hoping EA would do something like this. And look at what we have, 8,000 XP here. Now, I know what you're saying, Nate, play 65 games. That is a lot of gameplay. It is, but there's a couple ways you can get this done really easily, and you may not even need to get all of this done. Before you go and think, oh, I got to play 65 games to finish my season, I'm level 18 right now, and I don't plan on playing all of those games because I know that through the rest of the season, there's going to be other objectives that will drop, probably like a preseason daily play that will come back today on Friday with a new group reward. This is the one that had the timed loan of Neymar, uh, but this gave 3,000 XP. There was other things inside of here like the for the club one gave uh 300 xp per you know specific slot there could be more other objectives that drop in the next couple of days that give us more xp so you may not have to just go and go crazy playing games of course there's the weekly objectives that are out as well so don't look at this right away if you're even like level 16 17 right now and thinking that you have to get them all done maybe just playing 20 games or 25 games and getting four to five thousand xp will get you enough to reach that level 30 at the end now the other thing is there's actually a really easy way to grind this all you have to do is play 30 matches again play 65 is the top end of it but that's just playing matches and that can be completed very easily if you're going into a friendly match with a friend and having the friend quit out. It's kind of called boosting, right? You go into a match with a friend, your friend quits out, you get the match played, you get the win, you can do that both back to back for you get the wins, they get the wins, uh, switch kind of places, who quits out and who gets the wins. And that's kind of how you can boost to getting this done. I believe that is working. It would make sense that it would work because all I have to do is play matches. So that's a really easy way to get through this as well if you don't want to go through the painstaking grind of playing 65 games. Now, I will say, like you saw me have some progress there. It still is very good to play a couple squad battles games because you get XP for those rewards. You can work on the FC25 um Evolution, which I just finished right here for Mihailovic, USA center attack in mid. So boom, I just did that evolution. That's an FC25 pack that is claimed. And then again, we're expecting an objective today, which may require some squad battles gameplay. And maybe there is a few bit of squad battles that you need to play to get that done. Now, that's one thing of objectives that I did want to cover. The other thing is this preseason draft play. This was dropped a couple of days ago. And this is kind of big because it's following EA's trend of, remember what they started with Bukayo Saka, right? He's not in packs. He's really expensive. A lot of people want to get him. So they just dropped him as an SBC. Well, they did the same thing with this objective, dropping Cole Palmer and Ferland Mendy as a draft reward objective. Now, Mendy's really easy to get. You can just play 10 offline draft games, AFK, and you get yourself a 97 Mendy card. And if you want to get this Cole Palmer, it's the best version of him this game will see. You have to do the whole entire draft objective. Draft is fun. The mode itself is such a unique idea, and we love it, but the rewards are just not good. At least... We only play draft, it feels like, when we have these extra objective rewards that kind of push us to go and play it and make it worth it. Uh, but of course, if you've noticed any of these card prices on the market, as you would expect, they are down like crazy. For Mendy was 3 mil. Now he's 1 mil, 1 1.6 to 1.8. Price fluctuates a bit. Cole Palmer is down a bunch as well. That's the one thing I do want to mention, that if you're just trying to buy one of these M-game cards for your team, if they do get released via SBC or via objective. Same thing with like the Bukayo Saka, just for another quick example. They are going to tank a lot on the market. Saka was how much? Saka was 2.9 mil. He dropped to a million coins because he was released 
as a 1.3 million coin SBC. So that's one thing to kind of watch out for if you're still chasing any of those cards that are kind of hard to get in this end game stage. But I wanted to go over that objective content because there was a lot going on there. Really quickly, let's catch up on the SBCs. Of course, we have the 96 plus footies player pick, which is unlimited repeatable. I got my first big W pull from this. I've had two of them actually in the last couple of days. The 95 plus I've kind of forgotten about personally. I've just been going after the footies 99 in the 96 plus pick. Now for players, we've had mostly transfer SBCs with Pacho dropping. Yes, Yesterday, we had Oreo Romeo. Both of these were just kind of mid. Pacho is better than Romeo, in my opinion. He looks like a decent card for sure. Um, and then we did have the Bukayo Saka, which we kind of already mentioned. Those are SBCs that have dropped in the past couple of days. Um, yeah, I mean, I would expect more transfer SBCs still to end the year off. There's still a lot of big name players that we would love to see. Hopefully, EA do release still a couple of those for our end game fun. But just a real quick update on the account as well. We've been chasing 99. I'm still getting on stream most days and chasing some of the 99 rated cards. Um, we, we, I'll just show you right now because... We packed some bangers yesterday um, in the last couple of days. The number of 99s is rising at the moment. We were able to hit Sawa yesterday from an 85-10, Pele from a player pick. We've got Neymar, we've got Karchawi, and then Frimpong. Actually, I already had Frimpong, but it was Neymar and Pele in the same day. And then Sawa and Alex Morgan both happened yesterday. So Alex Morgan yesterday as well, big day for her. She announced her retirement. Really interesting looking into FC 25. Kind of the same situation as Rapino last year. Maybe she will be, Alex Morgan, one of the first end of an eras that we see in FC 25. I still think she's going to have a gold card, though. I still think she's going to. I know a lot of people are like, she might not be in packs. She might only be in packs until the winter transfer window just because of how the NWSL season is near closer to its end than like the regular rest of the football calendar for like the main leagues in Europe and like the Prem and those leagues that we follow NWSL and MLS are kind of on a different schedule so I actually think that she might be in packs still as her what is it 87 or 86 rated card she's getting this year as a downgrade will still be semi-usable she'll probably get an end of there at some point but that was the 99s that we packed as of late so we're still chasing a few more to get that 99 rated squad especially SBCs helping us out a bit now let's let's get out of the way with this content that we're talking about today right because we've got a promo Friday on hand probably like we said guys the last promo Friday of the year if you think back to all the crazy promo Fridays it's been a mad ride. We've had days of insane stuff. We've had really disappointing days. I mean, even in the end game here, we're not expecting today to be super duper crazy, but we are expecting a couple things that we know of for sure. The first thing is the new FC 25 objective for the club too, right? This is of course detailed for us on EA's website and we know what this pack is going to be. We're going for today. It's a FC 25 carryover 82 plus times 10. Now this will be, in my opinion, this is like right up there with the level 30 reward an 84 5 and an 82 10 those are both pretty good packs that we can get for just playing this game hopefully to complete this objective it's not that difficult you also get a base icon loan one of five player pick for five matches which is not too shabby either especially early in the game like that that base icon loan could be a big player and help you out in some state of the game of early stages of FC 25. So this today is probably just going to require some gameplay. It's going to be an objective. If it's anything like for the club one, maybe it requires, you know, 15 games like this one did, or, you know, a little bit less than that. If you combine them, we will have to see, but it's an 82 10. I can see them making it a little more difficult. Hopefully they don't do that. But there is that, of course, that is coming today. That's one of the biggest pieces of content that we're expecting. I mean, we talk about Evos here for a second. The real Evo road to the FC 25 that I just claimed that one's gone. That's the real one that we cared about the most. There's probably going to be a new one today inside of this game, but it probably will not have as much hype as the road to the FC 25 Evo did a couple of weeks ago. Now, let's go to the SBCs, right? Because this is where it actually might be a little bit interesting. There's kind of one last big player that everybody wants in this game. It's 99 rated V. VD. This is the big card that everybody is hoping to see either dropped it as an objective or as an SBC. And it kind of fits the vibe. Like we mentioned, it fits the vibe of what EA has been going for. They've been dropping some transfer SBCs. They've been dropping some of those cards from make your mark and path to glory, like the Palmer, like the Sokka, who haven't been obtainable from packs as we've all been ripping packs with the re-releases, everything that's out. 
8510s unlimited they've been dropping those sorts of players that aren't in packs as sbcs and this is one of the cards if not the number one card i think probably is safe to say the number one that everybody would like to complete off their end game squads i wouldn't mind this card if he was an sbc as well would i grind it out can't say i honestly would but at least it would be there for those that do want to go ahead and do it he seems next up but it also seems too good to be true at the same time because this is a 15 mil extinct vvd card and there's other cards that are not in packs like griezmann havertz kamavinga is now extinct at what three to four mil he's crazy high in price um even like john stones is two million coins some of these other cards there's not as many in the copa america side of things it's mostly just the um PTGs that we noticed right there that are out of packs. Florian Verts would be another one from Make Your Mark that is really, really expensive that some people would love to see added back as a 99 rated card as well. It could be any of those, to be honest, but I just hope that it's VVD. Like, EA, you kind of know that we want this one. This has been the chase for a lot of people, even from like 95 plus player picks now for the past couple of days. It seems likely, but also good, too good to be true, kind of like we were mentioning. But I think today we're probably going to get one of these players, a unreleased endgame promo card. But then alongside with that, hopefully still, we're looking for another transfer player SBC. That's been the theme on Fridays, right? We get a transfer player and we get some other sort of player, right? So maybe we get Bayern Olise to today so lanky we've still been mentioning xerxy lenny euro we had united um delict already so i'm not sure if they're going to give us another united player that's the big question that i have who are they going to give us for a transfer card barcelona danny olmo I, you know i don't know there's so many options with all the transfers that have been happening but i do expect us to get a transfer player today and then probably a re-released kind of end game not in packs card as well it's probably our sbc content and like i mentioned probably something along the lines of an evolution evolution piece today as well the vvd though like here's the thing if you've been chasing vvd or even if you have him you're one of the really crazy guys that has him tradable you definitely want to sell the card not because we care too much about our coins at this stage of the game but he's probably going to drop so that's just one thing i want to mention the gold card yesterday we had a bit of fun with on stream uh we made the gold card go extinct that was kind of our end of the year market project it was a fun quick buy he went up he went extinct and then he got flooded back on the market because it's in pack so no harm no foul but uh if you go and look at gold vvd's graph that's where my coins went as well by the way they went to this we always do this at the end of the year each year harmlessly of course go find a player who's been the most annoying card this gold vvd right beginning of the year most annoying card of fc24 like some people say not the most downvoted but this guy was everywhere he was so op he was so good most annoying card of the game by far for me and for so many so we just used up our leftover coins because there's no not even store packs i even opened this 700k pack yesterday packed Thierry on re and was like whoop de doo um so we bought up a bunch of these off the market made them go extinct and then of course he got listed right back up and there was no problem with that so that was the fun that we had yesterday on stream i know for some of you guys it might seem crazy but that was the fun that we had um so maybe 99 vvd comes today after all that madness yesterday we will be on stream for that content and be looking out for it of course now here is what i want to discuss really quickly to end the video because we do got to get in a little bit of fc25 information because yesterday ea actually posted something on their website about player of the month now ea always sponsors player of the month voting for a lot of these different leagues but there's some different stuff coming this year for fc25 and potms of course we got the big leagues we got the top five prem la liga the league one mcdonald's i hope there's a big golden arches m on that car design or involved in the game just for the bands we've got syria bundesliga but you notice the new one here liga f the women's la liga is now going to be getting player of the month cards it actually is replacing the Dutch League, the Eredivisie, because they got Player of the Month last year. It looks like Liga F is getting it this year. We will be voting on these at some point. There's no voting phase right now, but that's a dub. The potential cards we could see from this, Salma Paraluelo, Graham Hansen, um, like so many great cards, of course. Puteas, how can we not mention her? Rolfo, so many amazing players that we could see as POTMs out of that. That could be awesome. Uh, but then you see here that there's nominees for the Premier League and for the Serie A. And this looks all great and dandy and fine because we're used to player of the month dropping early in the game. But as you can see here, EA have already put a disclaimer saying the player of the month winner of this campaign, aka August, and this vote 
will not receive a special in-game item in FC 25. So they're already saying straight off the bat that there is not going to be an August player of the month, which is a bit unfortunate because last year, one of the reasons that the early game on 24 was so sick was because we had such a great James Madison player of the month SBC. And this year, we are not going to get one. Now, is that because Erling Holland is definitely going to win this award with seven goals in the month? And he's definitely going to win this. Um, and, and they don't want to drop a Holland SBC? Probably. But you know what? That's their decision. They also said the same thing for Serie A. And that's the way they're going with it. So Player of the Month is not going to happen right away. We're going to have to wait through the month of September to get our first Player of the Month at the beginning of October, which won't even be that far away, to be completely honest. So be watching performances during this month of September. And then we'll see the voting and stuff for uh, that at the early stages of October for a Player of the Month card in that time frame. So that's kind of that. And the last thing related to FC 25 is kind of an interesting leak here from ASY saying that the FC 25 cosmetic Evo options, um, here's some of them, goal scorer, match legend, pro champs, excellence. I think this is what they were describing in some of those early game um, news information pieces where you could change the card design on your FC 25 cards after completing an Evo. So that it wasn't just the ugly green evolution design. If you didn't want that, you could change it. This seems to me like it's information that's coming from an upcoming pitch notes release. I talk about the pitch notes every video, guys. I'm so excited for them. They're going to be coming soon. But I also think we might be getting some more FC 25 information today. We don't exactly know what it's going to be. But my guess is, because there's already been a couple of rumors about ratings, we might be actually getting official ratings from EA today, or we could be getting a pitch notes set of information. Who's this? Uh, a French icon, Papin? Govu. Oh, this is a low rated pack. Oh, I don't know why I expected something sick out of that. Yeah, that was pretty much fodder. So I think there could be some ratings today. Um, there could be some more information about those Evos as well. We'll just see, guys. We'll see what EA dropped for us on a Friday, promo Friday, last one of the year. Kind of crazy to think about that and to look back. That is the last promo Friday of the year. But we have made it here. And uh, after today, it's really full-on FC25 for me, at least in my opinion, especially as we have all the FC25 rewards that will be out by then. It is full-on FC25. But I wanted to make this video about 24. might be our last one. Uh, just to kind of discuss everything that might be happening on the day and stuff that, of course, could happen and impact what's coming in 25 today as well. We'll be live streaming. That link is down below in the description. If you want to check us out on 24 today, we'll be seeing what's new, talking about all the good stuff, checking out the content, and seeing what we got to do to get that For the Club 2 objective done. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Buckle in. FD25 is getting close, guys. We got a lot of videos upcoming, a lot of information to share to get us off the ground running on FC25. I will see you guys at Twitch stream today. It's been Nate for the count. See you there. Peace.